So now, back to what I was saying. So now in scripture, they tell you that the Antichrist is a politic or a politician and bears the mark of the beast, 666. So now your presidents and everybody in the government and everybody on this planet, might I add, are duality mind based individuals and citizens of planet Earth because that's how I built y'all. Left side, right side brain, right? Left, right brain, right? Okay, but y'all going through a spiritual makeover. So your brains will be one. Y'all won't have polar opposites. And I'm the only being on the planet that don't have no polar opposites because I'm a spirit. So I might have some duality mind individuals, duality brained individuals, because the universal is one universal mind and I own it and I create it. And it's all the way to fuck up there where the Big Bang began. It's not down here. So your mind ain't in your bodies, literally, just to let y'all know that on this planet. Y'all brain in your bodies, but your mind not in your bodies. Your mind is all the way up there in the Big Bang and it's down here in mine because I'm the Big Bang creator of the Big Bang, the only one down here. So y'all literally be looking at the eye of God when y'all look at me, the cross when y'all look at me, the ankh when y'all look at me, the caduceus when you look at me, a mirror when you look at me, all that shit. Everything that exists in this universe that's created in this universe is living to me. It might be dead to y'all, even in enemy objects, but it's living to me because I live in everything, because I'm a walking, talking, true, living, breathing God that's visible and invisible and encompasses inside and outside the universe and inside and outside of time. So right now, I'm not on time, but I own time. And I'm talking to y'all, but I'm an infinite being. So I'm immortal. That's the moral of the story. So even though y'all might see scars, scratches, or whatever shit like that on me, that's because we're still going through the spiritual transition and I'm still a spiritual war. And I haven't burnt you bitch ass niggas yet. So I do receive a glorification in this being, in this body. And I'm responsible for a resurrection. So life force gives you life. Because I breathed it in y'all bodies the, last, the first time when I created y'all. This time, I'm raining that shit from the heavens on your bitch asses. Literally. So now, y'all want to keep playing games with me? I own the devil. That means Ronald Twyman. I own Satan. That means the real king. I own myself. I'm a self-created being. So I literally own the Antichrist regime. I own their bitch asses. And once they get done tearing down the government with their imbalanced asses and everything else, like I instructed their asses to do cosmically, then I'm going to get rid of their asses. And evil will cease to, cease to exist. And I'm cleaning up all the racist creeds and colors and religions too. And there will be balance in my universe and on my fucking planet. So now, and heaven on earth. And everybody will be one with God. And there'll still be individuals, but you'll be one. Y'all will be one with me. Y'all will be filled with the spirit. And y'all will be yourselves and be comfortable being yourselves and knowing ain't nobody judging y'all, not even yourselves. And I'm not judging y'all because I'm God himself. So y'all not supposed to be judging me because y'all will be, he's, Jesus told y'all, y'all was gods. You're gods. Okay, but y'all judgmental as fuck. And God ain't judgmental. So that's why Jesus said, cast no, thong, no stones. But now, I'm casting everything at you motherfuckers that y'all casted at me. So ain't shit working on y'all. And matter of fact, ain't shit working on me. Everything y'all did, magic, witchcraft, voodoo, all that shit, I wrote in the stars for y'all to do that shit. <laughs> I even wrote in the stars for y'all to kill me. But let's be realistic. Physically, well, y'all ain't got to worry about charging them. Spiritually, I hit their asses. All y'all feeling this shit. Literally, the whole entire planet is feeling this spiritual war that's taking place right now. And I'm the only one on this planet that's responsible for the spiritual war that's taking place right now. Meanwhile, I'm infallible and perfect in my ways, and I'm just here watching humans do what they do, and I'm God, the most high judge of, judge of their asses. That's the moral of the motherfucking story. So now with that being said, though y'all can see me, I'm still a spirit. Without you motherfuckers on this planet, that's what that means. That created you motherfuckers on this planet and all 12 zodiac signs and all 12 races, creeds, and colors. So I'm all 12 races, creeds, and colors and all 12 zodiac signs. And that 13th constellation, the heavenly throne, is in my body. Dummies and outside everybody. And the rest of you motherfuckers, y'all just got the kingdom of heaven in y'all. Y'all don't have the throne in y'all. I got the throne in me. So y'all can't take something y'all ain't create. Y'all can't bring something to somewhere y'all didn't make. So nobody on this planet can bring heaven to earth. And none of you bitch ass niggas created hell or heaven or heaven and earth or them stars up there. So I'm literally only being on this planet that's at war with you bitch ass niggas. And the weather and everything might seem like it's out of control because you bitch ass niggas went to war with me. But it's really not out of control. I wrote in the stars for y'all to go to war with me so I could kill you motherfuckers and change my weather and purify my planet. 